Now let's talk about another arrival, one that started to change warfare as we know it. But first a question, what is the biggest problem with Israel's Iron Dome system? I would argue it's the cost. Each Israeli interceptor missile costs about $50,000. But what if Israel had a cost-effective way to stop the rockets, a way to hit one rocket after another endlessly without having to worry about its expensive interceptors running out? Sounds ideal, right? Well, it may become reality soon because Israel is reportedly rolling out a new defense system. It's the stuff of sci-fi movies. Israel calls it its defensive trump card. It's the iron beam anti-missile laser system. Our next report tells you what's the iron beam and how it can be a game changer. <laughs> Look at this video from last year. That's US President Joe Biden getting ready for a photo shoot. It's at the Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv. What's all the fuss for? Look at what's above his head. The giant camera lens-like thing. That's the reason for all this excitement. Because it's Israel's ace in the hole. The Iron Beam Laser Anti-Missile System. The Iron Beam is a technological marvel the fruit of years of research in high-intensity lasers. It was first unveiled at a Singapore air show in 2014, and after seven years, it seems to be ready for battlefield action. The system was made for one thing, taking down aerial threats before they hit Israel. First, let's look at its stats. The Iron Beam reportedly has a range of between 7 to 10 kilometers. Israel has said it can focus the beam to the diameter of a coin within that distance. The Iron Beam fires lasers that can reach energy levels of about 100 kilowatts. For context, that's about 24 grams of TNT exploding every second. Or almost one and a half kgs of dynamite every minute. That's the amount of energy coming out of the iron beam. All this will be directed at incoming missiles, drones, rockets and any other aerial threat. Here's a video released by Israel's Defense Forces last year, showing a successful test of the iron beam. How it works is simple. The laser will be fired at key spots on the incoming projectiles. In missiles, this means the fins, rudder or the warhead. Damaging the fins and rudder will destabilize the missile's flight path, make it change course. Firing at the warhead could overheat and cripple the detonator, rendering the missile useless. It's similar when engaging with drones. Either ruin the wings or propellers, or fry the camera, leaving the drone operator blind. But this method has a drawback, when it comes to kamikaze drones and rockets especially. These are simple weapons used for destruction. Wherever they land, they will explode. So changing their path may protect critical targets, but some damage will still be done. Which is why Israel isn't going to replace all its systems with the iron beam. The laser is meant to augment, not replace, Israel's existing missile defense systems. It will try and mop up the projectiles that slip through the Iron Dome. Like a short-range laser defense support system. That could be the initial plan anyway. But the Iron Beam and other lasers will get stronger over time. They could eventually replace other costlier systems. While building the Iron Beam certainly isn't cheap, Using it is relatively cost-effective. Israel says it will cost about $2,000 to destroy an incoming threat using the Iron Beam. Compare that to $50,000 per Iron Dome interceptor missile. You can see why Israel will want to improve the laser tech as time goes by. But even today, the Iron Beam's deployment will mark a milestone, signaling the beginning of the age of laser warfare.